hello y'all and welcome back to my channel in today's video I will be showing you how I created this epoxy resin pen with glitter using UV resin from counter culture DIY now I've made a couple of practice pens before and I think I've got the system down pat this time here are the items that I will be using to create this pen Now let's get into it. I first took this pen completely apart to where it's just left with the shell. It's super easy to disassemble and super easy to reassemble at the end. Now I'm going to take my Dremel sander and smooth out this entire pen. And then I take my sanding block to get a nice smooth surface around the entire pan before I spray paint it with my white spray paint. Now this is the same exact prep that I use when I'm doing my epoxy tumblers as well. Now here I am spray painting with Rust-Oleum flat white spray paint. I usually only do one coat of spray paint that's typically enough for me with these epoxy pens. I usually let my spray paint dry for a good 30 to 45 minutes. I want a nice, smooth, non-tacky surface to apply my UV resin with. And I take this plastic spatula and kind of smooth a nice thin layer of UV resin over just to seal in that white spray paint. Then I take my torch to pop any little micro bubbles and I do it very, very light and quick because I do not want to change the structure of this pen. It is plastic, so the more heat you bring to it, the more flexible it will become. And now I am taking my glitter and I am lightly dusting it over my epoxy covered pen to get a real nice coat of this periwinkle glitter this glitter is absolutely phenomenal i love how fine it is and the coverage is great Then I'm going to take my finger and slightly tap any excess glitter away from the pen. And now I'm going to hit it with my UV light. I usually go for two to three minutes. And then I feel how sticky it is. I've learned this trick where you take a glass of water, obviously a glass that you're not going to drink out of, and you immerse the pen into the glass and hit it with the UV light and it'll make the UV resin cure a little bit faster. I like that method and it saves quite a bit of time. Well, here I am going over with another coat of UV resin. I want a nice smooth surface. So this usually takes about three to four coats of UV resin to get a really smooth surface.
once you've cured your resin, that's exactly what your pin should look like. Here I am scraping any bits that got at the end of the tips of the pin before I reassemble it. Let's make sure that surface is nice and smooth. And then we're going to put it together just as we took it apart. And here it is all completed thank you all so much for watching my video today on this epoxy pan I hope you enjoyed it and as always if you did like leave a comment let me know what you think thanks and we will see you next time